ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the DCO Sourcecast. I am, of course, Trex, and alongside me tonight, we have Super Patriot. What's going on, everybody? We're going to call him Super Tester tonight. <laughs> uh, and beside him, after doing the testing that nobody else is doing. Yes, you're the, test <laughs> you're the tester everyone wants, but we really don't need. Wait, do I have that right? I think it's back. No, no. <laughs> no I'm, the test I'm the tester everybody needs, but none of y'all deserve. <laughs> yeah, we'll go with that. So, <laughs> it's then, everyone's job. It's everyone's commitment. It's everyone's right to go test on the test server, soups. <laughs> right. Exactly. But I'm not seeing just nobody, it. Just nobody does it. <laughs> yeah. nobody Concern, does considering it. the fact that I got the entire exploration of Gotham feet done while I was waiting in a queue <laughs> for a PvP <laughs> match tells me that I'm the only one on here trying to test some PvP stuff right now. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, uh, and I, was, I, was, I haven't had even a chance yet because we've just been on our own little spiel. Uh, we also have Vagrant Gaming back tonight. Welcome back, Vagrant. What's up? So anticlimactic. <laughs> a, a simple what's up is good. <laughs> Alright, so uh, first off, how was Anime Weekend in Atlanta last weekend? It was pretty fun. I had lots of uh, fun actually going to see Homemade uh, Kazoku. Was a fan band from Japan. That was fun. Nothing okay. else cool happened. I mean, like you know, checking out the dealers' room, seeing panels. I don't want to go too into it. This is a DCO podcast, not a Anime Weekend in Atlanta podcast. Okay. Understandable. Just you know, want to see how your weekend was because you you weren't here and we missed you. <laughs> it was fantastic, Trex. Super fantastic. <laughs> Uh, so, uh, I know it probably sounds a little bit rough uh, tonight, audio-wise. I saw Zaus in there. Hi, Zaus. Um, the background noise you probably hear is probably really just the PC fan that apparently is super loud uh, on my streaming PC, which, of course, remember, this is a three-year-old, four-year-old computer that is surprisingly running. Uh, I also had to change my audio. Had to change some audio a little bit. Uh, I'm trying to actually like test it around. Uh, I had to connect my mixer to my computer to my computer. Uh, so, so because because of last week and the episode that I released today, sorry for the lateness. That audio was tremendously hard to fix. So I grabbed my mixer that I use for my other podcast, and that's how I'm actually able to get Super Patriot and Vagrant and a cleaner audio. And now I had to you switch over to my XLR microphone, so it's like, oh crap, I haven't really done much testing with this, uh, let me see how it's good. And so, uh, I do apologize if you hear like the fan sounds behind us, uh, and of course in the uh, iTunes version I'm going to have the audio cleaned up, cross my fingers, and so uh, we'll be able to do, uh, fix that a little bit later on. But uh, this is a work in progress because I know this is not complete. And I still have cables to figure out how everything plugs in. But yes, it's a, this is all work in progress trying to better the show for you guys to clean up the audio. So, so sorry. So, uh, so Super Patriot, how was your week? Uh, it was all right. It was all right. Uh, got some uh, stuff done here and everything. Uh, I've like, oh, oh man, let's see. I've got three. No, I'm sorry. Two of my alts are now at 108 CR, I believe. So uh, I'm doing really good there. My uh, gadget troll that I've had like my second character ever made on this game, uh, gadget troll is now able to do tier five content. <laughs> well, good. But uh, yeah, having some fun here on DC World. Been playing a lot of Battlefield Four though too. Uh, they got, they got themselves a nice, uh, content patch, um, fixing a lot of bugs going on with that, so I've been readjusting to those, everything, and going around, going through, trying to get 500 kills on every weapon in it, 
Very nice. Now, so, yeah. That's going to take a while. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. So, oh, yeah. So, Vagrant, how was your week? Well, it was really good. Been playing DC, of course. Uh, farming Exos and running T- T6 whenever I can. All in all, just, you know, jumping on raids, having fun. Good old, good old time. Good old time. Excellent, excellent. Uh, my week has been okay. Tonight was actually, could have done a lot better for me. I got, got home at like 6.45 because I stood in an hour in traffic. It was so bad. So, oh God, I hate it so much. It's like, you, it, you know you hate it when you are just, you see your exit. You're almost at your exit, but you're standing, you're, you're sitting at this one spot for 10 minutes, not moving, and you still see your exit. It's like, I, I want to go. It's right there. I just need two cars to move, and I can go. I, it was nerve-wracking trying to get home and get on this in time and not even and have my microphone all sorts of messed up when mess frees me online. That was not cool. So I can't wait to actually see that replay when they bring me on. It's like, hey, surprise. I'm like, oh, my God, my microphone sounds horrible. <laughs> so uh, work in progress. Yay, work in progress. Who's breathing into the wind? You're in a wind tunnel right now. <laughs> Who's breathing? <laughs> What's funny, though, is he, like, continued to go really ecstatic. <laughs> oh, yeah, he's still he's still. So talking. most people most people are just going to be like, I, I hear none of that, but he's going like, hey. Everything's going crazy up in this. Yep. <laughs> yeah, I was, I was not happy. Not happy. I, I, I don't even know what, what it sounded like because I have my headphones on that are coming from the mixer and I hear me, which is still really weird to actually hear yourself. But and I didn't hear anything besides like a little bit of the fan. So to mm. me, I sounded fine. But I guess Mevs had me on his mixer just – Turned up way too loud. I don't know. Yeah, I was I was there when you uh, came in to uh, burst into F and L like a wrecking ball. <laughs> definitely Miley Cyrus your way onto the show onto F and L tonight. If I would have saw that in chat, I probably would have start jingling it or something. Like Trex came in like a wrecking ball. Can't wait to see that meme. But the week was pretty good. Uh, working with this mixture. Uh, Trying to get it up. Oh, it was just a story of the bit. Okay. Because it was probably just too loud. Yeah, the game was probably too loud. That's right. But I uh, got the mixer going. Uh, just yeah, just a lot of work on my front. Trying to plan this uh, couple of months was going out to places, to different cities for cons. Trying to get the streaming PC to work properly. Trying to get the audio fixed. And, of course, the source cast from last week. Trying to get that audio worked holy crap that was not really awesome. sure why that happened but all right <laughs> it was because you weren't here it messed up because you weren't here oh yeah. well <laughs> yeah don't do that <laughs> but me all in all the week was pretty good just uh hung out with friends of course you know gotham is amazing really digging it Har- i have never liked Harvey Bullock before until Gotham. Yeah, um, actually, I just, because, uh, you know, I DVR, like, everything that I, you know, watch and watch it later so I can fast forward through the commercials. Oh, or you um, just be like everybody else and do Hulu. I said, I, I haven't been watching on Hulu, and, you know, I got to sit through the commercials on Hulu. Um, you, <laughs> uh, there's you some shows that I do watch on do Hulu. It. Most of them are, you know... So there are some shows I do watch on Hulu, but there's others that I try to have on the DVR so I can watch whenever I want to. Uh, the ones that I want to play, pay close attention to when I'm watching, I, I watch on the DVR. Um, and that is Gotham. And I got to tell you, I just I just watched uh, this week's episode uh, before the show started, and it was really, really freaking good. It was really good. What about you, Vagar? You got a little bit of Gotham in you? Yeah. I'm all, I also can't wait for Constantine and Flash. Yes! Yeah, it's going to be so good. Like, I just got caught up on... C- Finally watched all of that. So many good DC shows. 
so many good DC shows. Yeah, I'm actually, I'm seriously just done with DC movies altogether. I, I want them to do more TV shows, and they are. Supergirl's coming to CBS, so it's pretty much going to be two broke girls with superpowers. Who knew? And really, <laughs> that's, that's that's what I'm figuring. Two broke girls. It's with it's going to be like that, but uh. <laughs> there's going to be no con- the the stories I've been hearing, the rumors I've been hearing about it is that it's actually moving away from like Kryptonian stuff. It's it's basically not going to follow any of the comic book lore. I think. I think it's going to try and Smallville it and do a bad job at it. That's what I feel. But all right. Hmm. Enough Sounds favorite, interesting. Yeah, enough with our favorite TV shows, because we can check all night. And yes, Teen, and Teen Titan is coming to TNT, which it's all, you know, what? TNT drama. <laughs> I did not know that, though. Yeah. Yep. TNT got what, uh, Teen Titans. Animated or live no, action? Live action. Live action TV show. Well, that's cool. But they need to bring back they need to bring back Young Justice though. Young Justice deserves a season three. I completely yes, agree. It does. Young Justice deserves a season season three through ten, as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> <laughs> Show so damn good. All right. So before we jump over to FNL, I do want to talk a little bit about uh, the extralife.org org twenty four hour live stream coming on October twenty fifth. So uh SOE Announce this at SOE Live. Uh, I've already signed up for with Team SOE, uh, and I'm actually going to be donate uh, doing the do- doing the live streaming every day. We're gonna li- hopefully cross my fingers. We're gonna live stream every day uh, to uh, to help with getting donations to the Children's Miracle uh, Network hospitals, Children's hospitals, you know, for the kids. Uh, and then on October 25th, like. A huge 24-hour stream starting at 8 a.m. Just nothing but gaming from a whole bunch of other people from SOE, from other big internet celebrities as well. They're gonna, uh, there's some of them are doing them as well. So I've taken part. I'm partaking in this, but I'm not starting until like 8 p.m. because I have a I have a short little comic book con I gotta go to that day. So you know, no sleep for tracks that day. Uh, have you guys signed up for it yet? I have not yet. I have not yet. My schedule is kind of wonky right now because uh, there's a guy, one of the other guys that does the same job as me on, like, Saturdays and stuff, uh, maybe leaving soon, so I may have to pick up all of his days Ooh. <laughs> soon. So, uh, yeah. So, and that's actually here in the next couple of weeks I may have to. So I'm not sure how, free, how many free Saturdays I'm going to have. In the future, yeah, it's gonna hopefully suck. none. Cause hopefully, not, hopefully not that many because I could use the extra cash. Oh yeah, of course. Hmm. And what about you, Vagar? Do you have Do you have plans on your Saturday nights? Uh, I mean, I'm in kind of in the same position as Soups. I just got a new job, so oh, congratulations. In terms of me, I will have to like see what my schedule is when that time rolls around. But in terms of doing it, I would totally do it. Uh, it's just like a live streaming thing, right? Yeah, it's literally I'm looking just, at it right now. Yeah. I mean, you don't have to 24-hour live stream. I guess any time during the day, just live stream. Mm-hmm. And try get, yeah, I would, I would hit it up. For the kids. Uh, just got just to gotta see what my schedule is. All right. So uh, you can uh, hit there uh, on my page. When you scroll down below the video, there is a box that you can go to my donation page, and you can also go over to my team, which is going to be Team SOE, and see all the other participants. And uh, you can make donations there, or you can hit uh, exclamation point charity in the chat box, like you saw Moobot do, and uh, you'll see the link there, and you can just donate there. Uh, so it's all for Children's Charity, 24-hour live stream. I'm actually going to have my buddies from Nursery Apply Clubs joining me for that thing. Uh, it should be pretty cool. It better be, because there's going to be a lot of, lots of video game playing. So, all right, let's hop over to FNL Friday Night Legends. Trex came in like a wrecking ball. <laughs> uh, so, oh, God. <laughs> so, we, so, how was it, Trex? Uh, well, yeah. <laughs> usually, well, usually you put me on the spot, so. 
<laughs> <laughs> well, FNL could have gone a little better if I didn't have an hour long of traffic time to get to the show late. Yeah, if you were, if you were, if you could arrive on time, that'd be awesome. It would be, wouldn't it? No, I know, I know, I know. Meps appreciates punctuality. Yes, he does. Yes. So, uh, FNL. I mean, I, I hopped on and I literally came online, got onto the uh, to the call. And it, technically, it was already started. I mean, it literally, it was already done, and we were just letting the three, uh, the round three guys play, and the show started. And it's like Meps did all the work. He 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 ran the whole thing for the first thirty minutes, and I'm just coming in, just like you know. Now I'm going to take control of the last. So so basically, what you're saying is Meps can do it on his own. He doesn't need you. How? <laughs> just you just <laughs> did that to yourself, man. <laughs> I was in you, traffic. I was looking never, forward to never, this all day. You never, you never, you never watched Star Trek, did you? You know, you never, you never, you don't subscribe to the, uh, you know, the the Captain Scott, you know, uh, theory on uh, engineering. You know, and this is how you become a miracle worker. You know, you, you, it, you know if it's if it's a job that's going to take you two hours, you tell them four. That way you get it done a lot sooner than you than they think, and they think you're going to be able to, and that's how you become a miracle worker. Yeah, see, he can't, can't do it when he's on air. Needs the tracks. <laughs> I'm not, okay. Needs the tracks. I, I appreciate the the, <laughs> but I am not the rock. I can I cannot pull that off. I just cannot. But I, I do apologize for my tardiness. And, uh, I mean, I literally, I woke up this morning and I got to work and I'm like, I really want work to go by fast because I'm, I'm going to be on FNL again tonight. I'm really excited. Traffic. I'm like, frail. And I did the responsible thing. I told Meps. I tweeted him. I sent a tweet. I'm pretty sure he wasn't looking at his Twitter. He definitely was not looking at his Twitter. Because I definitely got home, looked on the Skype and blew up. Trips was... He yelling up Sandy's to me on Skype, <laughs> and oh well. So, uh, <laughs> the the FNL tour was actually really uh, really good tonight. There was a lot of action, a lot of action. Uh, one upset. I it, there was the upset with. I'm actually looking at the bracket now. Really should have tweeted DCO. Okay, I I will definitely do that. Meps. Because I tweeted his personal account, but I guess he doesn't like his personal account. Uh, but the for me, the upset was Julianus and Healer Bra beating Buzz and Kurosawa. And, and, and really, Julie has been here, and I think Healer Bra, every PC FNL tour. They're here constantly, every time. And... For them and seeing them beat Buzz and Kurosawa, I feel that they have worked and worked and have come out on top. I think everything that they have worked on their past FNL brought them to this point, and they should get a pat on the back. They did a tremendous job. Really big upset in my eyes. And even so, they brought it to Clutch and Slob. Brought it to them with a three. Uh, even though Clutch and Slob won, that was like a three seventy six. I don't remember Clutch and Slaw being that low. I just don't remember. Because I have a bad memory at the same time. But, I mean, it was really good. Uh, and then Aquila Robusto and Canini. Damn it. Now Spill got me doing the same thing. Uh, they can, uh, <laughs> uh, well, you didn't bring out your accent for Akiro Robusto. Yeah, I cannot roll those R's. <laughs> and so I want to give respect to him. I do not want to roll those R's. <laughs> that that is just not going to happen at all. So, uh, <laughs> uh, and they came in into the bronze match against uh, Vengeance and Pyro, and uh, uh, Kiro and Kanini did a really good job. So, uh, and all the participants, I give you guys a round of applause. I think, if I remember correctly, I think I saw it said that uh, Gen Grand Shaw. And General Zod one two two three. I think this was their first time. I believe if I looked at chat right, like Grant, it was either Grand Shaw 
or I think it was Grand Shaw, yeah. Uh, it was their first time, and they had a blast. So it's like new people coming in and experiencing it for the first time. And they absolutely loved it. Which is good. Yeah. Which is a good thing, considering, you know, for uh, PC, because uh, PCs, I think you guys had like half the number of participants. Uh, as usual, this time around, wasn't there? Like yeah. 17 teams signed up? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Pretty much. Upsetting for me. Hey, Green, you get on that, man. <laughs> yeah, I'm only looking at... <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm looking at, uh... If I'm looking at this correctly, like, four or five, uh, buys. Just, uh, because nobody was... Because people didn't show up. I think, like, five teams didn't show up, I believe. If I'm looking at it, right? So. But I also want to point this out, because we, of course, know that Arena FNL is coming. October 17th, as a matter of fact, on the PlayStation side. Really excited to see how this goes. And big news coming from the PC front that we found out tonight. Clutch, Slob, Buzz, and Kurosawa are all in the same league. Hope, Hope's brother. So we might be looking at the four, in my eyes, the four strongest PC Legends players teaming together to be an arena team for the four v fours. Now, if they're going to be the five v five, I'm interested to see who their who their uh, who their fifth member could be. Oh, you're not. Oh, Clutch just broke my heart. That broke my heart. What? Oh, uh, apparently Clutch is over here on the DC side on their chat. Uh, the uh, the actual team that Clutch is uh, they're going to be running with for, for the arena tournament is uh, him Slob Vengeance with Tal and Banished Anaconda plus extras. So that's the team that we're looking at. Hmm. I'm I'm kind of giggling with Banished Anaconda because that whole Nicki Minaj Anaconda thing. I'm kind of giggling. I haven't heard the song. I just found the whole video ridiculous. So I was like. But yeah, uh, so Arena P, uh, arena PvP is going to be a new thing, and so I'm going to slide over here to, to Super Patriot real fast. Uh, how is the Arena testing going on Test Server? Um, actually, I uh, got some uh, testing done the other day. I uh, had, had a lot of fun um, with uh, Ticken, JR, and Radium, and all that. Me and Radium out there representing the, uh, how, do we call, how do we coin it, the Superior... Superior console master elite race out there, just walking all over PC players left and right on there, which was fun. <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, and then uh, me and Farmer Bob, uh, we uh, basically you know let everybody know that you either have to be on console or be an Ohio State fan, right, in order to beat you know beat us on PC. Wow. Yeah, or on, on test. So yeah. I grouped, grouped up with uh, Farmer Bob for a couple for a scrimmage and all that, and I just I remember uh, from SOE Live and all that. She said she was from Ohio and everything, and everything. So we were in the group. We're getting ready to go in there, and I just typed into the uh, I just typed into the group chat. I was like, "Go Bucks!" And she typed back. She's like, "Oh H!" And at the end of the match, I was like, "I O." <laughs> <laughs> oh, had a lot of fun though. Had a lot of fun though doing it. And then uh, just recently, I got on with. Uh, uh, Penryn, do you, uh, Penryn, um, I think is, uh, tunes Mr. Fix It on tests and everything, um, testing something out, and we found out that, uh, buff sodas, if you drink them before you go into the match, the buff carries over into that match. Hmm. Yeah, which, you know, when you got, you know, buff sodas that are giving you like 450 extra precision, you know, stuff like that, I mean, that could be a slight, you know, Game changer and all that, although I understand that the buff wears off, you know, if once, you know, your character dies and everything from those. But with the Oxos and the ATK sodas still out there, and yes, I still have stacks of, a couple of stacks of those ATK sodas. <laughs> and I, I could drink one of those, go into a match, and, you know, do the whole match and have that buff. So we got, 
let them know about that so they can get that fixed so you don't have that buff when you go in. Uh, so I actually, I actually want to point this out because Clutch brought this up. Uh, did you 1v1 Clutch? Did I 1v1 Clutch on test? Yeah. I don't think so. I fought somebody on, I fought somebody from FAMI on test and he was electric and melted the ever loving shit out of me. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> um, I don't think I fought Clutch on test. That's what he's saying. I do not recall doing this. Um, do you remember the character name Let's Get Ready to Test? No. Oh. <laughs> Let's get ready I to test. I I don't. <laughs> I, you I have kept not, going on with that duck. Duels, you... if he's talking about duels. I have not done any duels at all on the game. I've I've queued up for Bat Cave, and I've done some scrimmages and enter, and that's about it. I did one v one Jr. a few times because he was mad at me for chasing down Ticken. In the two v twos, we did. But <laughs> <laughs> so okay, just saying. I mean, Clutch is saying that you faced him. I don't. I. I, I oh, he was the honestly. Guy. If, if I if I did, I would own up to it. Yeah, he was the guy. In <laughs> I don't. I don't recall though. Yeah, he's saying that. Uh, it was the arena one v one. He was the one. In, he was the guy in family playing electric DPS. Oh, okay, okay. Well, then that's the guy. Yeah, he's the one who melted the shit out of me. Then, okay. <laughs> so, yeah, I just said I just said there was a guy from Fairy who melted the crap out of me. I didn't remember his name though. I didn't know that was you, Clutch. Okay, okay, I see. So he's not ducking you. He's doing that, doing doing that small before death, you know, stuff on me. You're getting on a tune. I don't know. And then, uh, <laughs> coming at me. I see how it is. No. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so be sure to tune in to Friday Night Legends every Friday night between 4 p.m. to 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. That will be 7 to 8 on the East Coast. And next week, they're going to be doing a PvE challenge. What it is, I don't know because I can't remember because I wasn't paying attention. It's not my fault. I had a show to get ready for. I swear it's not my fault. So uh, be sure to follow them over at twitch.tv backslash DC Universe online. It's going to be so, so great. Uh, Trex, please post your FNL tournament on your YouTube. I don't do the FNL tournaments. Those are all going to be on the YouTube channel belonging to DC Universe Online, which I believe it's uh, youtube.com backslash DC Universe Online game. I believe that's their YouTube channel. They have game at the end of it, I believe. But you can go to their main uh, YouTube channel, and they're going to have the FNL tour uh, up there probably either tonight or in the morning. Most likely tonight, because Meps is a hard worker. He is. He really, really is. All right, so for tonight, we have a lot of cool stuff to talk about. We're going to be talking about skimming. Um, we're going to talk about stuff that I forgot because I had it listed and I actually took my glasses off because my eyes were hurting. So let me open up chat because I thank God I typed it in what we're going to talk about. All right, so we're going to talk about skimming. We're going to talk about the new UI. And uh, I think that's... Wasn't there something else that they released this week? Mm, not that I can think of. Oh, oh, DLC 12's background. Ah, that's right. That's right. Let's go off with that. Let's start with the DLC 12 background. So, uh, I do apologize. I don't have any of the pictures because it's just... I told the guys I would get the pictures from the, from the new UI, and I didn't get that. It was a rough night last night. Not drinking. Hmm. Not, I was not drinking. I was live streaming, and then I stopped the live stream, watched the rest of the Packer game. Packers won. Woohoo! And uh, I got started with the work on the mixer, and it was like 2 a.m., and I'm like, crap, I still haven't done the video thing. I got to go to sleep for work. What's more important? Um, sadly, the sleep for work won, and it was a tough battle. It was a tough battle, but sadly, work had to win. I didn't want it to. So, uh, during the skimming preview that I believe is already on DC Universe Online's YouTube channel. Uh, we got a look at the new background, uh, the character background uh, for the character select screen. Uh, for DLC 12, it's this magnificent, magnificent Star Sapphire battery in the background. I 
I loved it. I weeped. I weeped. <laughs> it was so good. So good. Uh, so, what did you guys think of it? It was it was short, but I mean, what did you guys? Yeah, it was think? very it was very short. It was very short. The, the background was really cool. The background was really cool. Anytime you know they they do one of these little background things and all that for the character select screen, I always think it's kind of it's really cool to see. Um, the uh, skimming, um, honestly, uh, I had no issue at all with the original idle pose. I don't know if you saw it, they did another stream, they did a ninja stream today, where they've changed the idle, they've changed up a few of the animations a little bit, and including the idle pose, um, that you do now, so, uh, I did see, okay, I actually did, I wasn't able to watch the stream today, because I don't know what it is about the Twitch email system or anything, but by the time I got the email, the stream was already done. Yeah, somebody said on there that, uh, which wasn't, uh, didn't announce that they were streaming. I only saw it because, uh, Spittle tweeted it out. They were getting ready to stream, so. I saw someone post it on, uh, in my Skype. Someone messaged me on my Skype, and I was like, oh, crap, that's cool, but I'm at work. And then by the time I got the email, I was like, crap, I now have time to watch it. Let's still watch it. And I was disappointed. Disappointed. Um... I'm trying to actually find the thread with the original pose. Where is Joppin's post? Because I know it's still on the first page. Because he had a nice long thread about it. Apparently it went to the second page now. So yeah, the original pose, uh, a lot of people apparently did not like it. And I'm not really sure why, because if you look at Iron Man when he's flying, that's his pose when he's hovering. Well, here's yeah. the thing. <laughs> here's the thing. That's immediately what I thought of when <laughs> I saw that. When I saw that, I thought of that scene from Iron Man, you know, and he's doing his first flight thing. Yeah. You know, and he, he's he's going around there. It looks like he's on a couple of freaking you know discs, you know, and, and he's using his hands to kind of you know balance it out and everything, balance out you know his whole flight and everything, and especially when he goes in there to land, when he yeah. goes in there to finally land at the end of that clip. And all that. He's got his hands out to his sides. Palms are facing down. as he's slowly, you know, descending down to the ground. Everything. That was immediately what I thought of. I thought, holy shit, that's really cool. You know? Uh, but apparently, um, <laughs> some people felt that it was uh, rather an effeminate stance to be having. You know that? It's, I mean, I, I don't know. What, I, think, I think Yens needs to stop showing stuff off like this with the brute sizes. For one, because <laughs> sometimes they just don't look right. Uh, yeah, I think going with like a striker, you know, um, size tune would be a lot, you know, would show things off a little bit better. But um, uh, yeah, everybody was like, it was kind of a feminine, you know, way you would stand there. You know, it's like, you know, I think they said earlier today on the stream that he was, they kind of looked like a ballerina standing there. Uh, floating there and stuff, and I, I could kind of see it, but for me, I saw Iron Man and everything. And when I actually tweeted uh, that to uh, Jens earlier today, I was like, I did made me think of Iron Man, you know, when I saw that stance. And you know, he t actually tweeted me back and saying, "Yeah, we're trying to steer away from that because you know we don't want to step on anybody's toes." <laughs> yeah, they, uh, here are the pictures that <laughs> that's, uh, us onto the forums where. I honestly don't think that Marvel will re or DC will come back to the end. It's like you gotta change that pose. I, yeah, I don't, don't think so either. <laughs> I don't think Marvel is that powerful enough to go to some to go to us. And it's like we copyrighted that pose. No, what? Get out of here, well, Marvel. <laughs> I mean, he did. He did say too. He did say too. They weren't trying to go for a whole you know propulsion. Uh, you know, um, jet boot, right? You know, type thing. They they weren't trying to go for something like that. So that could be. You know, I mean, that's another you know reason why right there. I mean, for me, I thought it was cool ass pose, yeah. and it looked badass. And I would I would have been happy with saying the new pose looks good. New pose does look good. I, you know, I won't I won't um trip on that or anything like that. Uh, new pose does look good. Uh, <laughs> I liked I liked I liked the original pose better. 
I did. I, yeah, I mean, I honestly don't have a... I haven't seen a new post, so I'm not really sure. Um, I know people were saying when he was actually flying in, a, in that bulky stance, uh, it looked really weird that they didn't really uh, approve of the stance on how he was actually flying. But... Not really sure what else you can really do. I mean, a lot of people. Where's are also, the you know, Where's the new stance at in the forums? I don't know if they posted. I don't. Or not. Do, I don't know if he's posted on the forums. I saw Jens tweeted out a picture of it though. Huh. You can probably find it. Gotcha. There. Oh yeah, there it is, right on there. Oh, it's right there on spittles. Huh. It just just looks like you're bored on it. <laughs> now. I know, right? Let's go, spit them, find out. Oh. I feel I feel like players ruin things sometimes. <laughs> he, yeah, I know, right? <laughs> wait a minute. I don't see. Okay, so this is the one from five hours ago, right? We've acted on some skinny feedback. Look, a new idol pose. But, but I'm not seeing a difference. He does look bored. Are you so you can see you can see the difference. You can tell the difference. I mean, I mean, yeah. One, he looks bored. You know, he's just kind of like, eh. Two discs are holding me up in the air. Yay. Right. I mean, uh, <laughs> hold on, I'm going back but, to the original um, picture here. Uh, the only, th yeah, with the original, he has his chest out, his hands back, like, and his hands kind of open a little bit. In the new picture, he looks slouch, he looks bored, and his hands are now, instead of out a little bit, they're in. I'm like, what the hell? Ooh, too far. Yeah, that that looks. <laughs> I mean, I mean, okay. Well, how I about this? Don't see a difference. If if you think that was bad, where people were saying we they don't like the post to skimming because they're picky, you should see the backlash on the new UI on their YouTube forums or the YouTube comment section when they oh showed off God. the new UI. No, 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 no. I'm right. not going to the YouTube... <laughs> I don't want to go to my YouTube comments. Why do I want to go to someone else's? That's just not happening altogether. But, yes. Uh, I, I know in the forum thread, they definitely talked a little bit about... Or, technically, the players are kind of not happy with the new UI. Some people My like question it. would be... There was people saying that they thought the new UI was fine because... It worked fast and it wasn't clunky, and I was like, "What UI are you using? That's not clunky <laughs> and can like load things fast and stuff." Because when I press like I for inventory, I have to wait like half a second to a second for it to come up, unless I'm on test. Yeah. Actually, I just pressed I on test right here. It took about half a second. Yeah, see, that's what I, that's what I, I mean I, by, I like, it's but, I mean, but, you know, but here's the thing, here's the thing, Bort, you know, here's the thing, though, with that, all right, people don't understand, okay, because, um, I mean, you're right, you're right, it is clunky, you know, and when you're trying to get in your inventory to get something out of there, so you got to put a new stack of sodas on, you know, you're in the middle of a fight, you got to put a new stack of sodas in, or you got to, you know, swap out a trinket or something like that, or, and, you know, there's just no time, there's, like, no time, and that half a second you know, of putting put in their stack of sodas in, you know, that could, you know, be a game changer right there. That could be, you know, you're not getting the sodas on there fast enough and all that so you can drink it so you got power so you can throw a heal out or so you can uh, throw more power out or so you can do more damage or so you can, like, heal yourself, you know, because, you, you know, you're tanking or something like that. Um, yeah, it's, 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 it is, it's, it's clunky, and especially if you're trying to do it on the, on the console. Where you have to hold down start, you know, you got to go to your, uh, go to your little wheel and, you know, go, go to the, uh, inventory thing. That team takes even longer. And then you got to wait for it to open up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I went ahead and... But I think we, we can both agree that the, the UI is going to look way better once this hits. So I actually just yeah. went ahead and playing the DC Universe Online UI video in the background so you guys can at least watch it and you can look at it. And uh, and basically, yes, this is 
for me, it's a, it's actually more eye appealing. That's what I'm looking at. It's eye appealing. And does it still does it still really cover the entire screen of your of your game? Yes. I'm sadly enough, I guess they don't really want to use tabs a little bit uh, that I'm used to, but I mean I still like this a little bit as well. Uh, and I also want to, while this is playing as well, I also want to point out um, that my mods have gone power crazy. I gave my mods too much power because they banned MEPS. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I did, I did see it. I did see it happen. I got the comment when it happened. But yeah, they banned MEPS from chat. So I guess MEPS is doing it right. Get wrecked, <laughs> MEPS. <laughs> All right. Uh, my money is either on Brittany or Michael Grid. No, it was Brittany because Decon told her to. <laughs> yeah, I think Decon's made himself like like the self-proclaimed head mod, so he told Brittany to do it, and Brittany did it. <laughs> wow. Oh, Decon only timed out maps. Oh, Decon timed it out. Okay, Decon did it. So Decon is the rascal. <laughs> nice. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you people. So, <laughs> so uh, pretty much, pretty much. My only gripe with the new UI, though, is that unfortunately it kind of suffers from the same menu problems that Final Fantasy XI had. Is that its menus buried within menus, and in my opinion, it should never be like that. Right. But you still have your hotkeys of like, if you want to bring your inventory up fast, you just press I. If you want to bring your journal up fast, you just press J. Uh, I, I kind of wish that the PlayStation controller had like little hotkeys like that, but unfortunately it doesn't. PlayStation controller, you still have to bring up your menu, go to character, go all the way down to inventory, or hold you start, do, right? You said yeah, for you inventory. Hold start button, yeah. yeah, you hold start button, use your little stick to just go whichever which way you want to go. The little rotation wheel. Yeah. So, uh, and and I and yeah, I do agree. It's, I mean, like, it, it for me, it's just it's eye appealing. But like you said, because I mean, even right now in the video, the the inventory is being played, and when you look at your inventory, and you're, and it was actually said in a couple of places I talked to some people about the UI that a lot of some gear and some items might be the same icon and you just mm -hmm. don't know what it is until you select it and you might accidentally delete something before you look at it and it might be the thing that you yeah. needed. By the way, I don't know if anyone else noticed this. Uh, there was two extra Renown uh, factions when he goes over Renown. It was like Section 8 and something else. So there was five renowned factions instead of only three. And uh, mm. they're not currently in the game. So that might have been a leak that they didn't intend. Who knows? Who I knows, know. indeed. I think still, I think still, like, if I go to the renowned thing on live right now, mm -hmm. I'm not sure if it's still on there or not. I'll have to check when I'm on live again. But uh, I believe there's, you know, it shows me having like four renown with the rogues. Hmm. My hero. You're a villain. Oh, I'm my hero. Uh, I mean, <laughs> that's what I meant to say. And you're a hero. That's what I meant to say. But uh, no, these these um, factions were new. Like they're they they don't show up at all. It's one is like let me try and bring it up. It's like section eight and something else. Yeah, when the video gets there, I'll, see if bring, I can, uh, I'll, I'll bring it up. No, I think it already passed it. Uh, i got to bring up my own video to see if it. Uh, okay. if I can go ahead and go over it real quick. Okay. Um, yeah, they just got done looking at the powers and where you can actually have your, where your loadout is on the same screen. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> okay, it's called... Let's see. The normal factions for villain is Lexcor, the Rogues, Cult of Trigon. Uh, in the video, it shows the Society in Section 8. 
Society in Section 8. Ooh. It would be cool to bring so back it new, looks like It would be nice to bring some new vendors. Would be nice to just kind of overhaul the the renown uh, system itself, in my opinion. So Agreed. I'm glad that they're kind of revisiting that. With if they are. New hopefully they are. Yeah, if they are. Yeah, we don't really know for sure. Uh, right now they're looking at the uh, the videos playing the on duty tab and how you guys feel about the new on duty how uh, the changes with it cuz uh, I mean for me it I gives hope it's... It, the scenario is what I'm really looking at because it will give you all the information and it gives you a description a nice long mm -hmm. detail and even the text is really easy to read as well maybe because I'm old and I don't know, but it looks really nice and also very Latin-y. <laughs> Latin-y? I went there. I took that class. I hope, I hope it gets more organized because the current on-duty uh, operations get buried within the menu itself. Mm -hmm. So they need a way of organizing operations from alerts without making it to where... Because currently they have it where like operations and alerts are separated. So like you'll scroll down to like tier six alerts, and then all of a sudden, right underneath it is tier four operation. And I kind of feel like I've always felt when operations came out, they should be treated as alerts and go towards your alert feet and stuff like that. Because they're really not too much different, anyways. Yeah. But. I think I feel like when you click on an operation and it's specifically an operation, it's a, it should say like operation to differentiate each other. It shouldn't just be like tier four operations and stuff like that. It should all just be under four player in a nice organized way. But my my only gripe with on duty is I hope it gets a little more organized than just listing every single alert. I like the way it has like tier one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, yeah. I mean, this. I mean, and this UI, and this is only the PDA UI. We don't know what the rest of the UI looks like yet. This is a video going over the uh, just the PDA itself. And I mean, and yeah. and, and like Bayron said, it's a window inside of a window inside of a window. And and, and I'm, I I wasn't looking for the PDA to kind of like be on the side where I can still see my character, move my character around while the PDA is open. That. I don't see that really happening. Um, ooh, I must have missed the part where you can resize the windows. Hello. That's PC yeah, only. You resize the windows. Oh, that's PC what only, like, that's right. What I liked in there was uh, a lot easier way to um, customize your uh, chat colors. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it just did that, yeah, in the gameplay. That's, yeah, that's really cool, too. Really like that. Uh, yeah. Man. Pain the ass on the console. <laughs> sometimes hope, you can type, type in that color code, and sometimes it sticks, sometimes it doesn't, and you gotta do it like three or four times. Yeah. Mm. I really hope that they keep uh, the UI they showed us at E3 2013. I think it was E3 2013, where uh, it looked like very smooth and. It, I, I hate to use the word, but it looked like World of Warcrafty because everything was square. But it looked very clean. It looked like you could actually see your buffs when you cast them. So, like, if I use Weapon of Destiny, it'll show how long Weapon of Destiny lasts. It doesn't just show, uh, like, generic little buffs on the top left, but I don't know how many buffs are currently on my character. You know, things like that. So it looked like I really hope they keep that because... Um, a lot of times when they were showing off like the armories back in the day, when those were new, they had some of the new UI features still showing. Because uh, I think like when he, when Spittle first used an armory for the first time, we all got to see it. We saw a square icon on the top left that showed the cooldown of when he could use an armory again. And I really hope yeah. that they do that for uh, buffs and like cooldowns and things like that. I would love. To see that in DC, because it is kind of annoying when you cast a buff and you're you have to press F1 on the PC or bring up your like little menu on the D-pad to see how long exactly a buff lasts, and it'll be like 12 seconds. Well, it's like, well, I'm not really going to be able to gauge that 12 seconds 
every time. A icon that shows when a buff would last is going to be the best way to go. Right. Yeah. My, my thing, what I'm, what, and they didn't show it off, and I understand we kind of got a new UI for it with league halls and everything, but I want to see what they're doing with the league management UI with this new UI system. I mean, are we going to be able to see more? I mean, and by more, I don't mean like, you know, I mean, well, because, you know, with the apps out there, you know, anybody can inspect anybody right now, find out how many skill points they've got and all that stuff. But in regards to, like, saying it's like, okay, if I'm online and, you know, I need a mod made and I don't know who in my league has the Might 6 plan. Right? If I can look on my league, look on the league management roster, and I can see it's like what list of plans this guy's got. And then, okay, he's got he's got the might six. I can mail the match to him, and he'll make it for me, and you know mail it back when you know, next time he gets on, or you know see who is on that can make it. Well, stuff that like that. I on... mean, because that was that that was that was. I don't know if you guys remember or not, but a while back, somebody posted up a beautiful, beautiful freaking thread with images and everything. Of showing examples with the current current UI system we have, of you know, you know, showing all of that, you know, who the might six crafters were, you know, who you know who, who what plans you know this guy could make, you know, uh, you know what you know content this guy could go into, and stuff like that. Um, well, yeah, I mean, I, I, if, it was a while ago, but I mean, it was it was awesome. I loved it. Yeah, I mean that picture. <laughs> I mean that picture really showed. Uh, the creativity with that from that player, how to change the UI, but that is just a design standpoint. That's all that was. There, the engineering that would have to go behind it is probably probably just not worth the time. Uh, I know in WoW there's actually a mod that I was actually playing with uh, last week called Recipe Mod or Recipe Radar or something, and it actually keeps all. It's another mod that keeps all my recipes on all my tunes. And I can, even if I'm on one on tune A, if someone needs something made, I know tune B can make it. I can go to that mod, select that character, and just link it in chat. Like, here, this is what my guy can make. And it shows up in leak. That's a, and that really shows that, of course, Blizzard opening up the API and just letting people just run crazy with their HUD. Uh, sadly enough, DCUO, I doubt, can do that just because <laughs> I'm... I'm sure if the PC modders got a hold of that, it will be an amazing, much more amazing experience on the PC side, but it won't translate very well to uh, to PlayStation because you guys can't mod, sadly. Uh, and and that's actually something I would like to see from the league management would be a note section. So you, and what you want, Soups, people can put that as their note. In all my characters, it's like uh, 600 alchemy slash 600 herbalism so everyone knows who i am and that was my note most people put like silly messages like hey i got a banana it's like oh great you're really a vegetarian that's really cool or you like your fruit whatever but most people actually pay attention to it it's like i'm this i'm so and so's alt i have these professions and a note system for the league management is something i would like to have that on there so and that would help that would be easier for engineering and for design and exactly what you want. You want to know who can make this and this, put a note section up, people need to type it in there. Make it mandatory if you have to. I don't even care. Yep. I would probably yep. put it mandatory. It's like your note, you have a note, we have notes now. Everyone, put what you can make. Even though really we only the one, have one the note. one thing the one thing that I want from this new UI. The only thing I really, really want is being able to customize our uh, combat layout. Because I would love to put the enemy's uh, like status in the middle of the screen, not in the top left, because it's such a hassle seeing how much the percent a boss has in the top left when I need to look in the center of the screen to see what's going on during a fight. I want target of target. I have, yeah, I have grown but my, like, my... HP bar right next to the boss's HP bar, like in the center, because that's what I do for most MMOs. I'll put them in the center, like uh, left and right of my character, and that, and they're like right above my like loadout bar. That way, everything looks nice and clean, and I can see what's going on. 
but I could also see my HP in relative to the boss's HP, yep. everything like that. Oh yeah. So now at the same time, we all know what the new eye is going to look like. Uh, Pest Fedora did go onto the forums and gave a nice little uh, announcement kind of a thing. It's like, hey, it's coming. We they he announced that this preview for the PDA was coming out, and then now we have and now we have that. And he also answered some possible Q and A, some some questions that may pop up, and gave some pretty uh, decent answers to them. Uh, are we expecting like a UI customization complete? I'm not really sure. I know. Uh, ah, crap, was it Super Skull on the they forums? I can't remember. I who. think they said that they wanted to when they started working on it. They wanted to allow for customization like that, but we'll have to see if it actually works out in the end. Yeah, I know that. I know people say that Final Fantasy. Uh, did it Final Fantasy 14 they now have it on their game and I guess it looks it moves pretty smooth I guess I'm not really sure how it works on PlayStation uh, but um, what can hope if we get customization stuff I definitely am with Vagrant on that one every my whole HUD is my my name and my target going straight into the center of the screen just right there because you're already looking down there I don't want to look up but just give me target. If I can just get target of target, I won't have any complaints. I won't care about any other thing. <laughs> won't care. It's like, but you but the rate UI, it's just, it's so small. It's like, don't care. I got target to target. I can tell you where the boss is going to go because he's going to target them. And that's what you want yeah. to target for. I also hope with the new UI, better telltale uh, signals. Because when Wonder Woman uses her Wonder what her. Amazonian deflection. I can't see that crap. I can't see that crap. You can't see the wrist. They need better. Glow? It's hard to see when there's so. I even. I'll even turn the effects down, and it'll be like. I'll see like the teeny tiny little boss triangle. Yeah. And I'll be like, oh, okay. Sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> it's still. It's they. They just need like huge words in the middle of the screen, like for some of the bosses that they're doing something. Needs to do that. Yeah, if the if the PC modders can get like the API for this game, we would see some. I ooh, another thing I would really like, I would like targeting icons. We technically <laughs> call yeah. We, yeah, I mean you you exactly all. I mean, Vega and I played WoW, and that was the one mod that everyone loved to use. What, what was it originally called? Like. Uh, Mob marker or something, I don't, or boss marker. I don't know. Yeah, that's the one you're talking about. Is like you'll put like little icons over a boss. Like this boss will be diamond, and then like his little trash mobs will be like skulls or whatever. Yeah, pretty much it gives you a kill order that you can just say in chat, and then Blizzard adopted it into the game. It's like, all right, you can go delete that mod now. We have it in the game. We played in the game. We did. <laughs> it's ours now. It's like, okay, guys, okay, chill, chill. It's yours. So yeah. I'm not really sure how well. DC could, <laughs> I'm not really sure how DC well a kill order bit. would work with DCO, but I mean, I would still love it. I would still use it all the time. Like Vagrant yeah, has skull, yeah. kill Vagrant. I'm like what? Just play around <laughs> with it. <laughs> but uh, I think that's it that I could really remember to talk about was the skimming and the UI. Hmm. Anything else you guys want to touch upon? Well, I'm excited for it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, the uh, the engineering department uh, did a great job. Uh, I'm trying to remember actually their names. I think it was like John Carpenter, I believe, uh, was was the guy on the UI stream or UI video. And I can't remember the lady's name. And I do apologize for that. If they if uh, Spored tells them it's like, hey, they mentioned you on the source cast. They forgot your name though. Uh, there is no date for Game Update 41 so far. Uh, we don't have a date. It's still on test server right now. Uh, I think I speak for all of us here when we say that we don't want survival mode in Game Update 41. One, it's <laughs> not ready. Two, it Game Update 41 needs to be the PvP update that everyone deserves and not be overshadowed with uh, survival mode. 
You know, that's they could just implement survival mode later. Yeah. Like, game update 41.2 or something. <laughs> like, it doesn't have to be part of a game update. It's like, oh, by the way, we unlocked it. Boop, there you go. Mm hmm. But it is tough, though. It is tough. But, um, I think that's really all that I got. So, <laughs> all right. So, uh, once again, game update 41. We don't really know the date yet. Uh, really hoping it's going to be pretty soon. Crossing our fingers because you guys are going to really have a great time with this update because the PvP is really cool. Really cool. Uh, the Hall uh, when is Halloween in the States? The 31st. The th yeah, 31st. Well, Halloween's on the 31st. Whenever, uh, whenever the suburban culture celebrate Halloween, I, I don't really know. I think they're going to sell it like the Saturday before on the 25th. Because no one wants to celebrate Halloween on an actual weekday. Is it on a weekday or is it on a Friday? I think it's on a Friday it's this year. It's on a year. Friday, so they may actually do it on a weekend. But probably not. For the first time in, like, years. Yeah. <laughs> I hate people who celebrate Halloween on a weekday. Come up to my house on a Wednesday night. It's like, what's up? It's like, trick or treat. I'm like, what? No. Go away. But uh, you can find all the episodes for the Sourcecast over at uh, trickslight.com. And also, uh, you can find them over on uh, my YouTube channel over at uh, youtube.com backslash trekslight. And of course, follow Sourcecast on the social media, on Facebook and the Twitter. Just type in DCO Sourcecast or DCO Source Podcast. Either way, either way, it's going gonna, it's gonna to show up. Uh, Sir Patriot, where can we find you? You can, of course, find me at youtube.com slash the Daddy's House. I am also on Facebook, Daddy's House there. I am on the Twitter at the Daddy's House. I am also on the Twitch, uh, twitch.tv slash the Daddy's House. Not backslash, metrics. It's just slash. Well. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I don't care. It's going to be backslash every day. <laughs> get, the, get the URL wrong. Just do it. Well. You can find me at the most confusing places. You can find me on YouTube <laughs> slash the Alpha Tester. You can find me on Twitter slash Vagrant underscore gaming. You can find me on Facebook slash Vagrant Game. You can also find me on Twitch, uh, which is the only one that is makes sense to my name, Vagrant Gaming. And I think that's it for my social media. Trex, where can we find you? You can find me over at the my YouTube channel at youtube.com slash uh, and especially and on my Facebook uh, facebook.com slash trekslite and especially on the Twitter love the Twitter Twitter is amazing and uh, you can find that over at this is Trex I just changed my my picture my profile picture on Twitter have you guys saw it I think I think I have it's like like tree tree light <laughs> for Twitter it was. Because, <laughs> because everyone misspells my name. <laughs> they forget the X. They put an extra But you e. even changed your logo for it. I, I, like, I saw a tree on the red T side of it. Yeah. Because I, I was I, like, is he, go is he undergoing a name change? Is he pulling a vagrant? <laughs> I, I, <laughs> I, I mean, it's still at uh, This Is Trex, but I mean, my, my actual profile name was like, yeah, it was just tree light. Because I was like, I screw it. I'm no longer Trex. I'm Tree. Just, just call me Tree. But no, I, uh, I changed it. Well, I'm back to Trex Fright because it's Halloween. It's October. Uh, but then Miss Callie May came to me on uh, Twitter and called me out because my actual profile picture was my tr was the actual my logo with the holiday holiday stuff from Christmas, the Santa hat, the mistletoe. She's like, why is that still there? I'm like, because I'm lazy. And I haven't got a chance to change it yet. So now it's changed. Now my truck site logo has fangs. And it says Happy Halloween. I was really impressed with my Photoshop skills. I learned something. You're just too good. I'm too legit. <laughs> That's right. So be sure to catch us uh, next Friday after uh, DCO FNL. 
Uh, I think we're, we normally start around 8, 8.30, depending on when they want to end and when we get our testing done. And when we stop BSing when we're off camera or off mic. Uh, so be sure to follow us over at, uh, come back to us next Friday night at twitch.tv backslash trickslight for more fun, more goodness. Will Game Update 41 come out next week so we can go ahead and start playing it? I don't know. I'm crossing my fingers, so please make it so. Make it so, number one. We'll see you guys next week. Y'all take care. Later. Yeah.